and good afternoon. Welcome to vlog 21. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please. I'd like to find my numbers increasing on subscribers. If you like what you see, just click the thumbs up. If you don't like it, thumbs down. But hopefully I won't get any of those, but you never know. Anyway, welcome. As you can see, I'm out in the girl. I'm out in Gertie and I am just putting the first hundred miles on before she goes in to have her oil checked. So I'm doing trips to and from the supermarkets at the moment and various other places where I know that I can get parked easily without too much problem. She's um, she's sounding really good. There's a lot more power in her now. And I'm very happy with how everything's worked out. And I may have mentioned in the last vlog, having got her back, whoa, come on. Yeah, there's little spits and spots. She's um, sometimes decides she doesn't want to pull, but I think that's got to do with them checking her over after 100 miles. So I will be mentioning that. Just sometimes she doesn't seem to want to give me any power, but I think that's to do with uh, maybe an air bubble in the fuel line. I don't know. Anyway, um, I've been busy. I've been busy, I've fitted all the doors now in the living quarters of the van and I'm really, I'm really pleased with the finish although um, rule number one if you are going to stain wood make sure you've got enough of the stain because having done one side of the doors um, I find myself having to get more stain and although I got the same colour, it didn't come out the same colour. So fortunately that's all on the inside of the doors, so it's not too noticeable. I'm going to go at the weekend, we're now on Thursday, and at the weekend on Sunday afternoon I'm going to go and stay with my mum. I was going to take her but I want to get all the, the uh, reconditioned wheels on and the new tyres on and I certainly need to make sure I've got a spare in the boot of the car, in the boot of the van um, at the moment I've got nothing so you know I can't go very far in case I have to be rescued um, so wheels are being stripped back and reconditioned powder coated in white gloss white apparently um, they'll come back I then go to my chap Tony Tyres anybody's local great guy um, I go to him and I'll have all the new tyres fitted onto the reconditioned wheels he'll put me the one tyre he's got at his workshop at the moment he will put back onto the spare and that can go straight into the boot of the van and then I need to have them swapped out and I think that's going to need to Moneyfields yet another trip and another shitload of money bless them um, they really are good <coughs> excuse me but I shall have to go back to Moneyfields I think and they will fit the original wheels with brand new tyres on so that's good uh, what else can I tell you doing a little bit of um, 
sewing over the last few days. Uh, since the business closed, I've got a number of clients who will not give up um, on me sewing for them. So I emailed the whole group. There's about 40 of them and I've had a number of orders in and as those can complete and the gardeners are sent out I will then make sure the money filters through into Curtis fund as it were and that will pay for the new tyres so it's all fun stuff I've been and had my hair chopped off although I've left it today so it's looking a bit ragged um, the dog's been Groomers, so he's looking a bit Harry Dash. Um, and I've had my Jeep serviced and MOT'd. Success all round. And I took that locally to a really good guy called Johnny. Um, has his own little business uh, on the back of Liverpool Road in Caddis Head. Actually, he's Erlen when I think. Is he Erlen? Yes, he's Erlen. But he's called Caddis Head Autos. And uh, what I'll do is I'll, I'll try and remember to put all these details for anybody who's local who watches, who needs replacement tyres. I mean, it's good to support your local businesses. And I've been trying to do that as much as possible. And if you flush your eyelids enough, you get a really good deal. So I'm really pleased with that. Anyway, so I'm out. I'm out. I'm off to Tesco. I'm going to get some food shopping just to last us through till Sunday when we both then disappear um, in different directions. I go to Gloucestershire. Uh, Tom is going over to Berkshire. To, I think it's Reading's in Berkshire. I'm not not quite sure, near Aldermaston for a week's retreat. So he will go and just try and decompress a bit. Um, it's all been a bit full on at Christmas and um, he's not really quite, he's not really surfaced properly. So I think it was wise that he decided before Christmas that next week will be his retreat week and he will go off and we will send Ozzy to stay with his friends Billy and Holly. Two Westies. Holly's not that bothered, but Billy, and they're a couple of they're a couple of thugs, the pair of them. They're the same age, same date of birth. Really, really good company for each other. And I've got a door that's decided that it's not going to hold on a magnet, so I'm going to have to have a think about that. As you can hear, I've got some banging going on. All the other ones are held perfectly, but I've got something going on in the back, so that's not very good. Anyway, I shall um, have to get that sorted before I next take her out. I've solved any rattles as well, which is really good. Um, oh, actually, if I go up here, I'll get in where I normally park. I like to try and take her up. Yeah, I'll take her up out of the way here. And I've got a gap between either side of me. When these doors open, they're a bit intrusive uh, uh, when you're parked. So there we go. We're here. We have arrived. What's really interesting is leaving the car, I can't press a button to lock all the doors, nor does it automatically put a brake on. I've got to make sure that, oh, I've left the lights on. There you go, you see, absolutely ridiculous. So I've left the car with its lights on, which is not really the way you should do it. So let me just open her up again. Uh, no automatic lights. Oh wow, well. hey ho. So, push the button, handbrakes on. <laughs> it takes getting used to. I don't often come out in the evening 
like to avoid driving in the evening now. Um, I've got some problems going on with my right eye. I've got a hole in it apparently right at the back. So I've just been chasing my appointment up and hopefully I'll go and have this this one sorted. But um, in fact, I, I, I tend to see a distance better now without my specs. Um, I put my glasses on. It all goes to pop, really. There we go. Anyway, I'm going to get on. I now need the phone to get my um, zapper to pay for my shop. <laughs> don't know how else to describe them. Evolu Evolution Coating and Revolution Tyres. Um, they are going to be busy sorting out Gertie's wheels. So as you can see, there are five of them that are being done. And there they are, all stacked, all five. And as you can see, they're the majority are in a real, real mess. And here we are, the wheels have gone from really rusty and looking very sad to these rather beautiful wheels. And interestingly, the gloss paint isn't too brilliant white and it matches in quite nicely with the rest of her, the van. As you can see, the tyres are going on and this is where I'm going to leave it at Tony Tyres where I have to say a huge thank you to Tony and his assistant for um, getting these tyres on and now all I have to do is go and have them fitted onto the van. That's all for now folks. Take care and I'll see you all on the next vlog. Bye for now.